Good evening, friends. Welcome to Up Up, Down Down, Left Right. Amen. I am, as always, Adam Bless, playing with you Christian video games. And this one's still freaking me out. So, we are in the second chapter of the trilogy of Jesus Christ RPG games. This one actually titled Jesus Christ RPG. Last week, to finish up the Christmas season, we played Baby Jesus Christ RPG. Pardon. And during Baby Jesus Christ RPG, we played as the Holy Family, uh, traveling from Nazareth to Bethlehem, and then the Wise Men traveling across the desert, fighting demons and gods on their way to find Jesus freshly born, and then, as the Holy Family, fleeing Herod from Bethlehem to Egypt. I did not win. Uh, Herod succeeded in murdering <laughs> baby Jesus last week, uh, which is disappointing. Uh, so close. He is the final boss, and it was a difficult battle that I lost, uh, but I have decided not to play that entire thing again just to, just to get some sort of congratulatory end screen I don't know exists or not. Uh, instead, we're moving on to the second chronologically, though I believe the first released, or maybe they were all released at the same time. I really have no idea. There's not a lot of uh, information to figure that out that I can find. Uh, but this one just called Jesus Christ RPG. And uh, I don't know what to expect with this one. I certainly didn't know what to expect with the last one. Uh, and it was so surprising that I, I don't know where this could go. Uh, I understand that this will be Jesus Christ's ministry. We're playing through the Gospels this week. Uh, next week, or the next game rather, however long it takes for us to get there, uh, is called Rise Jesus Christ. And uh, it is my understanding we'll be... Uh, playing through the harrowing of hell, which I find interesting and look forward to. Uh, this one, I don't know what our enemies are going to be. I don't know how it's going to work. I have some speculation, uh, given what we did last week. Uh, maybe we'll be fighting demons every time Jesus goes to heal someone or something like that. I don't know, though, uh, and I look forward to finding out. I was surprised at how earnest and sincere this game was last week, even as it is honestly quite funny. Uh, this is this is something made by a Christian who is taking the gospel account seriously uh, while also having a sense of humor about it. Uh, and I'm, I'm very surprised by that, period. Uh, this came out, as I said, at the same time as last week's game, which I believe was 2013, 2014, originally. Uh, they are now available as a set on Steam, uh, which is where I bought it and what I am playing it through. So let's get started with Jesus Christ RPG and see if I can remember the controls. Uh, well, this is uh, I'm Jesus. I've got two-tone hair. And... I am apparently at my mom's house. Found an egg, found some fish, found some water. Talk to Mary in a second. Oops. Found more water. All right. <laughs> what did you say, Jesus? That you want to leave home and start your ministry? Both I and your father, I mean Joseph, will miss you. We do you know what this is? We know that this is your destiny. <laughs> What's that? No, no. I was just chopping onions, that's all. Oh boy. All right, Joseph. Sad to see you go, son. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> well, hey, that's what you were born to do. The good old wood shop will feel rather lonely without you helping me here. Well, he just turns away. <laughs> All right, well, I hmm. guess that's everything. Jesus' bedroom up there. Same Bethlehem map, mostly, it looks like. <laughs> 
Don't try any magic tricks. Oh, we gotta go get baptized first, I guess. Well, <laughs> it seems the game would like me to go get baptized. Uh, one thing I didn't do last week was save a lot. Uh, and that was a mistake. So we're gonna try and fix that this week and remember to save. A restaurant. <laughs> I like juice and quotes there. Uh, there's a lot of contention in some of the more, say, teetotaler uh, versions of Christianity about what wine in the Bible was, because they use juice in place of wine in communion rituals. So will I... <laughs> Interesting. Will I be able to do this before I'm baptized? Maybe. Oh, I can't perform miracles until I've been baptized. Interesting. All right, well, good. We've got a couple of objectives then. We've got to go get baptized and then come back here and turn water into wine. All right. Uh, well, south is Jerusalem. I said head out into the desert. <laughs> I haven't heard really the sight miracle yet. All right, I've still got a. There's more cities than there was when I was a baby. Is this it? Is this? Is this my cousin John? Sure. miracles to learn. Alright. It's a Mary, I'm sure will come back. I haven't. Well, I want to see Jupiter. Is this... There we go. John the Baptist. I need to be baptized by you, and yet you come to me? Let it happen now, for it is right for us to fulfill all righteousness. The spirit descended as a dove. I've learned exorcism and rays. All right. Oh, now I gotta go be tempted. Stones reference. If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command His angels concerning you. With their hands they will lift you up, but you not strike your foot against a stone. Once again, it is written, You are not to put the Lord your God to the test. Here, interesting interesting isn't it how we have fun lessons for everyday life the devil tempts jesus christ himself and says you can put yourself in life threatening danger danger that will kill you unless god intervenes 
do it. And Jesus says, no, you're not supposed to tempt God like that. And I wonder if there are any lessons we could think of today with Christians putting themselves and others in mortal danger to deadly disease and saying, oh, but I trust God to keep me safe. And then dying of perfectly preventable diseases. Hmm. Hmm. Go away, Satan. <laughs> Lord of the Flies, Beelzebub. Of course, our first battle will be a satanic underling. All right, so Jesus can't attack. Uh, he can perform miracles of exorcism or raise. Raise revives the following ally. Exorcism attacks demons. I can refrain. Should I kill? All right. One fly down. early for Jesus to have a cross-based power, isn't it? Alright. HP's down. Um, I should have bought supplies before I left, probably. He's attacking me with smelly finger. Beelzebub has gone to hell. Found some bread, found some eggs. No more devil. Heal up. How do I... Is there an exit that's appeared? Oh, these are steps. Out of the wall. I have found armor of God, and I found helmet of salvation. Honestly, no weapon. No sh All right, so. Jesus can't use any of the things I've picked up, which probably makes sense. I'm sure there's nothing else around here. And... Why is the wilderness down there? Interesting. All right. Oh. We don't want to head to Jerusalem just yet. We want to... Turn water into wine, don't we? Our first public miracle. Suppose you kind of have to intuit this, know what you're going to be doing already. Everyone's excited about the wine. Except for that lady. <laughs> How very silly.
Hooray! I have achieved my first miracle. Go see mom and dad. Stepdad. Oh, she's not saying anything new. Well, I don't know where to go. We had that first step. We gotta level up, at least a little bit, probably. See if anyone else has. We need apostles, go east. And that little boy's so smart. very useful. I'm go east, though. Hmm. <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> I got James. Oh, I, I can't heal anyone yet. guy won't let me buy until I get more apostles. Strange things across the river. I got Andrew. guys all live together. Well, they're all fishermen. Might as well. Stuttering Thomas. Excellent. Man, collecting apostles is so easy. What do you got? I don't, I don't have very much gold at all. Mary and Joseph were flush. Why not? Let's buy all the, the old sword. My point is to collect all of the armor of God. Is there any indication? Status? Born of a virgin birth. He is destined to become the Messiah who will die for our sins. All right. Uh, six more XP to the next level. Just got casual clothes. Nothing for formation. Equipment we already knew. Skills I just have the two. Some bread and water and eggs. All right. Simon the Zealot. We'll take him. That's seven. I found some more armor of God, which I don't know what is. Hey, another Mary. Both our name, our mom's names were Martha. We could stop fighting. I still don't know cure. I think I'm done in this town. Yep. Found all the apostles I can find in this city. Bread and fish for being able to guess that her name was Mary. 
since all of the ladies I meet are going to be named Mary. I haven't learned how to give people sight yet. I'm sorry. Oh, that's dangerous. There's a devil up there. It's going to be Matthew the tax collector, isn't it? Yep. Thanks, Matt. Oh, I can't read that. <laughs> hey, mister, I like bees. All right. I've done one miracle of the seven I need to do. Please don't call me Bart. May I join you? Yes. I've got nine apostles. I gotta learn some more some more miracles. This is I can't interact with it. Is there a seeing glass? Alright. She tells me miracle stuff. Anything else over here? No. Anything else over here? No. Alright, I need one more apostle. tire and then became a spire. Is that a reference to something? <laughs> Philip likes RPGs, so he'll join me. Cool. Alright. Well, John's gone. Because this part of the story is done. Well, he went to Jerusalem to be beheaded. Uh... Oops. What if I say no? <laughs> he likes blur. I say no. Alright. Still haven't. But I've got ten. So I can go back and... Get our other fisherman friend. Judas is in, whether I like it or not. Peter's in, and they are apparently actual party members, as opposed to uh, friends from earlier. Simon's got armor of God on. Judas has a rope. It'll probably come up later. Peter's got an old sword because of course he does. Uh, and everybody keeps telling me there's problems across the river. So... I'll head down to Jerusalem to see if there's anything going on. Alright, can't go to Maria Slum. There's a lockdown. That's not very nice. 
Oh. Demons in the desert. Simon doesn't have any talents right now. But he can attack. Likewise, Judas. Jesus' exorcism is a little more powerful than anyone else, which makes sense. Oh, I've learned walk. Okay, now I can go heal the lame guy. Where's the, where's the lame guy? He wasn't in Nazareth. I don't know what these other towns are. I wonder if it'll tell me. The guy who couldn't, the guy who couldn't walk was... No. Other town inside the building in the other town. So, I don't know. If I gotta go into the wilderness and fight demons to level up, that's a little esoteric. It's another miracle. You're welcome. All right, that's two miracles, let's save. Just in case, when I go to the desert, something bad happens. Thanks for the update. Ooh. I need to heal up. collected all the apostles, but Jesus and Peter are the only ones who actually fight. Which I guess is okay. Save some time. Green demons. the guy who needs to be taught to speak. I like that. That sound effect of Jesus performing a miracle is very nice. Yay, he can finally speak. I guess I level up more because I've got at least one more guy I know needs healed. Right. In that town in the north. Simon's been struck blind. <laughs> I 
there's not a lot going on here, gameplay-wise. Found some bread. Jesus did not level up. Boy. Alright. But the blindness only lasted for one fight, so that's good. their actual health attributes are because <coughs> Jesus just hits them for so much that I can't get a good gauge on it. Jesus still needs 110. I don't like fighting actual people. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Actual people is less. No. No, I don't appreciate that. You're doing so well, game. Just having me fight different colored demons? That was fine. Good, even. Having me fight stoners in the desert? It's less good. Bad, in fact. More of this, less of the other thing. telling me what to do earlier. Oh! They won't let me in. It's not very nice.
Collecting a lot of stuff. Nope, can't leave. Can't leave Palestine at all. Yellow demons. That's new, I think. Still one hit kills from Jesus, which is acceptable. Hey, I learned sight. All right, let's get back to a pathway then. They say a prophet's not welcome in his own whole town. Can't go home again. Alright, let's heal up before we go. Give that guy back his sight. Pleasant enough, but it is a little repetitive. Hi, Mary. Oh, wait, he's not here. Is there a shop in this town? It is, isn't there? There we go. What can I buy? of that stuff. Eggs are pretty easy to come by, considering how expensive they are. If only I could sell them. Can I take a boat? Should let me take a boat somewhere. Yeah, there's a boat. Alright, well let's go heal the guy's site. And then we'll cross on the boat. And have some sort of boating adventure, I'm sure. Lots of Lots of adventures on the boats to have. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Hmm, I should write that down. This game. I really like bees. That's. I don't know that that's a biblical reference. Oh, better sword, better whip. And a vase that raises defense. Hmm. Jesus still can't get anything new. Simon's got the better sword. Well, who gets the vase? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. Maybe we'll never find out. It's a secret to everyone. Alright. Let's go on a boat adventure. Maybe calm a storm. Maybe walk on some water. Look at that boat. <laughs> Jesus running after the boat. Excellent. All right. Eh. There is a certain tradition where Martha's sister Mary is Magdalene.
somebody use that helmet of salvation. No. All right. I've healed Lazarus. There he's not around. Oh, I got off. Hmm. Maybe I should go back up and fight that demon on the other side of the swamp up there. All right. Well, this is going to be Mary. This is going to be super annoying. Wasn't that bad. Let's heal some. That'll do. All right. So we're probably in for a big fight. This is Mary Magdalene is uh, possessed with seven demons. This is. Uh, I don't know what tradition this comes from, but it also comes up in the greatest story ever told. I think it's the greatest story ever told. One of the one of the American early American Jesus movies, uh, where Magdalene is one a prostitute, which at least we're not identifying her with the prostitute here, which is an ancient mistake uh, to conflate those two characters. Um, so instead, we conflate her with another Mary, uh, but that she. She is possessed with a demon representing each of the seven deadly sins, which are a uh, medieval concoction, too. Um, extra biblical. Oh, no! <laughs> All right, so Legion here. Legion in the Bible is a man possessed by a thousand demons uh, who... Who are on the coast after Jesus gets off the boat? So that's that's fair enough. Um, but a man possessed uh, introduces himself as legion, which is uh, the Roman term for a large group of soldiers, a thousand group of soldiers. But he is possessed by a thousand demons, uh, or many many demons, and cast those demons into a herd of pigs uh, who drive themselves into the sea. Uh, so Jesus commits uh, pretty direct anti-capitalist property damage uh, at that point. Uh, he'll do some more famously a little bit later, but we'll get started. But Legion here are the seven demons possessing Mary Magdalene, which is... Okay, creative license for the sake of the game. I'll allow it. Especially because it looks ridiculous. Uh... All right. Have they seen... Oh, Mary. Nice. Mary's on my team. She can wash to restore... Cool. No, that's... I really like that Mary... Mary is a party member. That's... All right. Confuse one enemy or attack allies' talent points. Increase allies' talent points, rather. Um, cool. All Kiss. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow. Um, enemy commits suicide. Or enemy is attacked by Roman soldiers. There's a lot, a lot going on there. All right. Uh, she doesn't have the EP or TP for. We can raise some TP. Let's cast talent again. 
on an ear. Oh, he can get a lot of TP. Well, why haven't we been using that? Well, give yourself some, Mary. Doesn't really matter, because I think we'll be done by the end of this, but... That'll be useful later. When we're fighting something more... much stronger. Alright. Well, now everybody's TP's way high. Which is nice. some bread. Oh. Shortcut. Oops. Everyone's feeling better. Okay. All right. All right, Martha. Cool. Nice adventure across the river. See if Lazarus has anything else to say after I've healed Mary. No, just go cure more sick people. It's good news. Because that's what I plan to do. Alright, well, this looks like everything we can do here. Back across. Jesus, running. It's very funny. I really like that. All right. Oh. There we go. She can use the base. Cool. All right. <laughs> I don't think I actually read that the last time I talked to him. All right, that's another miracle. What is that? Is that seven? Oh. Cutscene. This rock will build my church. A literal key. Interesting. Oh, the end is nigh. Back in the desert? Are we going to fight Satan again in the desert? <laughs> Satan's got a mech. Alright. Special amphibian tactical assault android. Satan. Satan's got a mech. Well, I need an Evangelion then, don't I? 
All right. Miracle. Exorcist on. Don't need to use that yet, so just attack Satan. Let's confuse. Oh no! I should have picked up Mary earlier. So that she could have leveled up more. That's going to be a it's gonna bite me in the butt. Oh, what if I try to get Satan to commit suicide? Should have definitely leveled Mary Magdalene up, but I did poorly. Um, <laughs> bad decisions. I should have gone straight to Mary Magdalene when I opened the. Gotten her first. Uh, let's wash just in case he attacks before. Satan. After his transfiguration, Jesus Christ and his followers begin their journey to Jerusalem. Oh, the transfiguration is me defeating Satan. Interesting. Oh, and then we get closing credits. Cool. Well, that was easy enough. Uh, there was one demon I didn't kill uh, in that town in the north. I had to, would have had to have gone through through the uh, swamp. Obviously, a alternative, unneeded. Hmm. Well, let's pick up from the save and go do it. Why not? Always fun to have a uh, alternative boss, optional, optional boss. What do you got for me up here, demon guy? I 
like whips. I like whips. I like whips. He just says I like whips. Oh. Okay, I gotta go buy a whip. Can I buy the whip here? Or was it somewhere else? Yeah, the whip is here. I thought I already had the whip. Okay, well, then, let's find out what happens. So this is a fight just to get an alternative weapon for Judas with a noose. His most powerful weapon, certainly. Eh. Decreases his luck. How ironic. Alright. Well, cool. That's all I had missed. Well, okay. So, with the exception of the time it made me kill humans. Uh, who were desert stoners, so I guess they were supposed to be uh, Gnostics out in the desert using drugs. I uh, would have appreciated the game make a little deeper deeper reference to them being Gnostics if that was going to be it, but obviously they were desert stoners. This is a deeper reference as we're going to get. Um, but yeah, uh, obviously not going to convert anybody, uh, which is refreshing to find a game that's not trying to convert anybody. Uh it's mostly just, it's fun. It's interesting. It's short. Uh, we played that whole thing in an hour. Uh, yeah, not not too bad. Again, i uh, just surprised that something called Jesus Christ RPG is made in earnest at all. Next week we'll play the last one, Rise Jesus Christ RPG. Uh, this one ended with the transfiguration on our way to Jerusalem, so presumably the next one will pick up there. And we will have a triumphant entry, chase some, uh, chase some money changers, maybe. See what happens. Crucifixion, hell, harrowing, and then a resurrection in the end. It'll make it a longer game, maybe, than what this one was, but this one wasn't too bad. I, I, I like it. Obviously, it's not complicated. It's building an RPG maker, uh, but but it was fun. All right. Thank you so much for watching Up, Up, Down, Down, Left, Right, Amen. Uh, not a lot going on in this game, so maybe kind of a boring episode. Sorry for that, but it's, it's interesting. It's fun. It is definitely, uh, definitely a take on Christian video gaming that we haven't experienced yet. So, yeah, there's that. All right. Anyway, thank you so much. I will see you next time. Until then, remember our New Year's resolutions. Demand utopia. There we go. Demand utopia. Stay hydrated. Support Ben Wildflower. He made the sticker. I'll see you next time. Bye.